sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mafex Medicom Toy Aquaman movie Aquaman. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So as you can see we do get the basic type of box when it comes to Medicom Toys. So we do get the order right there on the front of the box on the left side does say Mafex number 95 action figure then we do get a cool image of the Aquaman figure on the bottom says Aquaman action figure Medicom Toy and DC. And then here's the bottom of the box with the barcode and blah 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 so nobody cares about. Then here's the top of the box. And then the one side with cool image of the figure with his trident there. Then the other side does have another dope image of the figure. Then the back of it to show a couple cool poses. You can get the figure into along with some of the accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure. We're going to take a closer look at Aquafina Man in his classic suit there from the movie. Alrighty, take it a closer detailed look. And once again, Mafex uh, just did a, a kick arse job with another figure. Their Venom was dope and now their new Aquaman from the Aquaman movie is just sick as hell, and this just takes a huge doo-doo all over their Justice League Aquaman here. Just the suit alone looks so awesome, man. The sculpted texture all throughout it looks so dope. The head sculpts look great. I thought they looked good on the Justice League Aquaman. They look good on this one as well. I think the basic stern face looks more like Momoa than the, uh, the yelling, screaming face there and they made his hair kind of going back so it looks like he's kind of swimming you know what I mean so I like that they did do that the beard looks great and everything the eyes both painted looking in the same direction so really nice job all throughout the head sculpt there and the hair is a uh, very soft rubbery type plastic has some really nice sculpt detail all throughout it as well then we do get his tattoo on his neck right there which looks pretty cool and like I said, the suit is definitely the coolest part to this figure, man. The sculpted texture to it just looks so sick. On the back looks dope. I like the way the spine piece looks. That looks pretty cool. It's a really, really cool looking suit there. And for the arms here, we get, I guess, some armor on the uh, tricep there. And I love his gauntlets. These are really sharp, so be careful of that. And I love the color green that they chose as well. Beautiful color green there. And then we do get... This is the one part I don't really like about his suit, these pieces. I mean, it looks fine on the side of the torso. We do have the uh, butt flap armor as well. I believe this is a separate piece. It is, but it's glued on the front there. We do get the Aquaman symbol right on the belt buckle piece there. Sometimes these pieces get in the way of the articulation, but you can still work around it and tuck it under the waist there. But we do get some nice sculpt detail all throughout the gold pieces there. And then for the legs, we do get that cool sculpted texture once again. And the crotch piece is not a soft rubbery type plastic like what we usually get with uh, the Mafex figures. So kind of surprised about that. But I love the way uh, the, 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 the pattern looks on the uh, pants there. That's really cool looking. Knee joints look good. And I like the way the boots look as well. I, I like that brighter green. These are very sharp too, so be careful of that. I like the way these pieces look as well. Just a really cool looking suit. And then for the feet, get the uh, sculpted texture once again with the dark and lighter green mixed throughout them. And then the bottom of them, we do get more of that sculpted texture. So overall, I think Mafex really went above and beyond with this uh, more classic suit Aquaman here. And it does have some weight to it. It doesn't feel like a cheap figure, which I really do like a lot. Just uh, They really did... An awesome job with the detail. Definitely can't be any more happy with how it turned out. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories. Aquaman is included with the basic Aquaman type stuff. Like what we got with the Justice League Aquaman. Just wish we got like an extra alternate head or two. Just to give you more display options with the figure. But what we do get, we do get a Mafex stand here. Which we always get with all the figures. So that's definitely cool. We have the base, the arm, and the clamp. And it does have the basic stand articulation so we do get that and then we do get the two interchangeable head sculpts and starting on the left we do get the basic stern face which is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging that's definitely my favorite out of the two because i feel like it looks more like momo and i think these are the same faces we got with their justice league aquaman we just have a uh, different hair sculpt on these faces here so we do get that one then on the right we do get like the yelling screaming angry type face and they did a good job with that one as well it does look like Momoa, Momoa but like I said I feel like the basic stern face looks more like them and they did a, a fantastic job with the detail throughout both faces and they're very easy to swap out I'll show you how to do that 
right now. And swapping the heads is basic when it comes to Mafex. So all you do is just pull up on the head, pop it off the ball peg, take the other one, push down on the ball peg, and then there you go. As simple as that, we do get the two interchangeable head sculpts. And then we also get his awesome trident. And this is such a cool looking accessory here. The only thing that worries me is it feels extremely frail and fragile. It's made out of such a cheap plastic. So just be extra cautious with yours. But I love the sculpt all throughout it. These are sharp, so be careful of that. And we get a beautiful shading throughout it as well. And it just turned out really nice. And the way you get them to grip onto it, you just pull the bottom piece out slide the hands on and then just peg it right back in as simple as that so we do get aquaman's trident and then we finally get eight alternate hands and then starting on the top right here we do get a pair of fists of course and then we do get a pair of gripping hands where the thumb is molded together to the fingers and we do get a pair of open resting hands and we do get another pair of open hands but this time his fingers are more in a clenched type position and we get some beautiful sculpt and paint detail throughout all Eight hands and they are pretty simple to swap out as well but anyway that is all the accessories included with Aquaman let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we now for the height of Arthur Curry to the very top of his hair it looks like he's a little bit over six and a half inches tall and then here he is compared to the Mafex Justice League Superman, the Mafex Suicide Squad Joker, the SH Figure Arts Justice League Wonder Woman, and the SH Figure Arts Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. And I think this Aquaman scales pretty well with this Superman here. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Thor, the Mark 20 Python Armor Iron Man, the Mafex comic version Venom, and the Mezco 112 Silver Knight Batman. And I feel like this Venom should have been around the height that Aquaman is. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mafex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And I think these two are the same height in real life, so... This might not be entirely accurate, the scaling, but it's really not that bad. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and we do get some pretty good movement with this figure. Some points I wish were a little bit better, but most of the articulation is pretty good. So we do have two joints at the neck here, the upper neck joint. You're only going to get them to look up about that much with the upper neck, which isn't too bad. And then it doesn't really look down too much with the upper neck. His beard does get in the way a little bit. You do get a pretty good pivot there, and then it does swivel the lower neck here. Just goes forward and back a tiny bit. So with both joints, you can get them to look down that much. And both joints looks up about that much. So not the best for like swimming poses. His hair does get in the way a bit. As you can see, you do get a little bit of pivot at the lower neck. And then it also does swivel slightly as well. And my neighbor's dog is barking upstairs. If you're wondering why you're hearing a dog barking. Uh, now we do get a point of articulation at the torso and one at the waist here. And the torso only goes forward and back. Let's see, it goes back decently. It doesn't really go forward too much. You do get a little bit of pivot there. Not the best. I've seen better on Mafex, but it's not too bad. And then it does swivel as well. The waist here goes forward just a little bit so he doesn't really crunch forward too well but for swimming poses it goes back a lot you do see a little gap there so you might not want to go back this far so definitely good for uh, swimming poses even though his head won't look directly up the torso and the waist you can get him to arch back so you could have him swimming around and then we do get better pivot at the waist and then it does swivel as well now for the shoulders here or the arms they do shift out it seems like and then you do get a, a great circular motion out of the shoulder right there and we do kind of have a butterfly joint doesn't really move out too much though and then the arms do go out to the sides just shy of 90 degrees they do go up and down we do have the True bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that bend in all the way. Then we do have a ball hinge on the wrist that does swivel and hinges back and forth. Now for the legs here, 
they do drop down. Oh yeah, I also had an issue with my right arm from posing it around. It got a bit of looseness somewhere, but I, I think it fixed itself because it's not like falling down when I move it in a certain position. So I guess it fixed itself. But uh, the legs do drop down just a tiny bit and they're pretty tight these joints and the right leg kept popping off on me sometimes when I would articulate it so just be cautious of that and he does kick forward about 90 degrees doesn't really go to the back too much let's see if he can Jean Claude Van Damme it and I don't think he will be able to and he definitely can't uh, Jean Claude Van Damme it they go out whoops see what I mean it pops off if I force too much articulation out of it it looks like they go out about 45 degrees then we do get the hip swivel there we do have double jointed knees that do bend back pretty much all the way and then the ankles here they do swivel they hinge up a tiny bit hinge down a bit better and then you get a great ankle pivot with this aquaman and my ankle joints feel like they have a little bit of looseness to it not too loose but i, I wish they were a little bit tighter they're not like he's not going to fall when standing or anything like that and then we do get a pretty good toe hinge there so overall I, I think the articulation is pretty good it's not the best and I definitely seem better on Mafex but I mean you're still gonna be able to get them in some pretty cool badass Aquaman like poses and I'm about to show you some of those right about now but anyway that is my review of the Mafex Aquaman movie Aquaman hope you enjoyed it if I had to rate this figure with detail I'd definitely give it a perfect 10 articulation I'd give it an 8.5 and accessories I'd give it an even 8 if you would like to know the price more to buy this figure I did have mine imported from Japan from Ami Ami but my buddy from Ageless Geeks did just get this in stock so you can check over at their website at agelessgeeks.com if you can't find it on there I do highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. to show a bunch of pretty cool poses you can get the figure well not a bunch of pretty cool poses only a couple there with the interchangeable heads moving on to the accessories aquaman is included with the bit 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 moving on to the accessories aquaman is is uh, yeah second time i did that Damn. the mafex justice league superman the mafex justice <laughs> He's not from Justice League. The Mafex Suicide Squad Joker. The SH Figure Arts Chihuahua <laughs> Chihuahua. Damn. The Mark 20 Python. The Mafex Venom. Little uh, delay there, wasn't it? Infinity War Thor. The Mark 20 Python Armored Ironing Board Man. These two are the same height in real life so Aquaman might be a little too big for Batman but it, it could still work if stuff like that doesn't bother you like stuff like that doesn't bother me all right why do I keep rambling on and then here he is compared to 